This is a question from C programming. Consider the, the C code fragment below. They have given us this code. Assuming that M and N point to valid null terminated linked lists, invocation of join will A. Append list M to the end of list N for all inputs. B. Either cause a null pointer dereference or append list M to the end of list N. C. Cause null pointer dereference for all inputs. D. Append list N to the end of list M for all inputs. So, we have been given this particular code for join. This is the struct that we are using. It has a data part and the next pointer pointing to the same node. And they have given us that M and M point to valid null terminated link list. So, N and M would look like this. These are the nodes which has a pointer to the next node like this. And the last one would be null terminated. This would be M. So, what we are doing here is we will be passing M and N to this function the pointer to the first node and then there will be a iterator, temporary iterator pointer p that's used to iterate through this linked list and by p dot next not equal to null we will be making p equals p next meaning we will be initially we will be assigning p to the first node of n and then while the next of p is not null we will be traversing p, we will be moving p to the next node like this until p hyphen next becomes null at that point, what we'll do is we'll make p next equals to m. So we'll be traversing p like this. P will move to this. P will move to this. At this point, we'll see that the next is null. And what we'll do is we'll change p next from null to m. We'll be pointing it to the first node of m. So clearly, what they are doing here is we are appending list m to the end of list n. Now. There is one small issue here. In the question, they are giving us that M and N point to valid null terminated linked list. But nowhere have they given that the linked list are non empty. Even an empty linked list, which only starts with null, is also a valid null terminated linked list. So if N is empty, the first thing what we are doing is we will be assigning P to N. Now P is null. And we are in the condition we are trying to reference p next, which is null hyper next. Now that will cause a null pointer dereference since p is not null. We have to do another check before we were executing this particular code. So the answer is it will either cause a null pointer dereference or append list m to the end of list n. So b is the answer.